Well, while health care is jarringly expensive and is likely to get even more so, in some parts of the state, availability is even an issue. Joining me now is our Akila Kellen. Well, Rob, a question that has increasingly been asked in parts of rural Oklahoma, is there a doctor in the house? And that's the reason behind a new program to bring more doctors to small towns. Medical students wanting to practice in rural Oklahoma are in the minority. Mercedes Bernard is in that minority and wants to provide health care to smaller communities. I'm from Granite, Oklahoma. The population is a little over 1,500. Um, I graduated with 22 in my high school and I'm in love with rural Oklahoma. I never thought in a million years that I'd want to go back and then you get to Tulsa and it's big city living and it's not for me. It turns out I miss the country, country girl at heart. <laughs> Currently, Oklahoma ranks 43rd in the nation for meeting residents' medical needs, in part because of the shortage of rural physicians. Compared to other parts of the United States, we have less primary care physicians than most states. Casey Shrum is the dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine and says the school is focusing on producing more rural physicians. Our mission is for rural and underserved areas of the state. So that's a big concern for us. And when you look at Oklahoma, it's even more so that in the rural areas of the state, our physicians are older also. So not only do we have less physicians than most states, but we have an aging physician population in rural Oklahoma. Approximately 20% of Oklahomans live in rural areas, but only 9% of state doctors practice there. We know we're not likely to train someone who's grown up in a, you know, an urban community and expect them to go out and be comfortable practicing in rural Oklahoma. So that's really been our approach. It's somewhat different than the approach that we've taken to recruiting medical students in the past. But I think it's a critical piece for us to be successful and for us to help meet the needs of Oklahoma and our mission. Targeting students like Mercedes and Kevin with a rural background. I feel like when you're in a small community, everybody, you know, it's like it becomes an extended family to you. Like everybody in your community is extended family. And so I think that that's kind of why I'm drawn to like returning back home. Um, they had such an influential part in, you know, my, you know, me getting into medical school and um, just, you know, providing a lot of support and a lot of encouragement. And so it's like, I kind of feel like I want to return back to my family and, you know, um, give back a little bit. To check the periphery. Growing up in a small town, Kevin Johnson wants to return home where he can make a difference. I graduated with 13 people in my senior class and one of the reasons I like rural medicine is a there's a need there are no physicians in Johnston County and seeing my family you know growing up with limited access to health, insur uh, health insurance and health coverage there's such a need that I feel like I'm drawn to that area. It's comfortable, it's familiar. I feel like I could really you know, make an impact with my family and friends. But he knows it won't be easy then, working in an right underserved there. area. It's challenging because you are the go-to person. You could be the only doctor within miles. So you have to keep track of your education and you know, keep up, up, well, keep up your skills in all areas and you never know what's gonna come through the door. So to me, that's very exciting and challenging. Nationwide, 66% of people live in an area that the government recognizes as medically underserved. So are programs like this, are they making any dent in the problem? Well, Rob, they have been making a dent. Actually, last year, Oklahoma went from 48th in the nation to 43rd, which is certainly a step in the right direction. All right, some good news. Thank you so much, Keela. You're welcome.